So here we are together. Yay! Ammon and I. Um, we just kind of wanted to do an update, and uh, I I wanted to thank Tyson um, for getting me here and flying me here, and for all my friends Sarah and the Wellings and Kirsten. Um, for helping with our kids so <laughs> thank you yep awesome I look tired because I am tired but he looks hot because he's Ammon <laughs> but um we're excited to be here uh, we, we have had a few disappointments but at least me a little bit um, we tried to see if it would be okay if we stayed in the Vegas area and um, spent a couple days together not at the um, host home, but uh, it wasn't approved because, you know, we're major criminals here. Even though the pretrial service service people asked when they interviewed me if I, if I would be happy to uh, take Ammon into my custody as his wife. <laughs> um, that's funny. I think that's funny. But anyways, I, I'm grateful. I, I got here and he had someone deliver. I don't, I'm sure it was probably Kelly and John conspiring and Ammon uh, to get me um, that flower. So I wanted to show you the flowers. Do you see them? <laughs> um, there's been some crazy stuff undone today and I guess not undone but um, aired and we I'm just grateful to be together with Ammon so uh, the biggest thing that I love about Heavenly Father is that He always brings truth to the surface eventually. And um, and that's what He's doing. He It takes patience and it takes a long time for us to have to hang on until that truth is aired. But it's airing and um, we're seeing it. The whole world's seeing it. And I don't know who in the world got that information to Matt Shea. But whoever it was, I'm grateful. I hope I know there's probably a lot more that people could see. Um, Emma talks about a lot of uh, discovery that is sealed. So, anyways, thanks to everyone. And uh, we I, there's a video that Ammon did, kind of updating and educating and doing what he does best after this. So I'll put the link in and post it. So just wanted to say hi and tell everyone thanks for your prayers. Because of your prayers, we're together, and um, I truly believe that that is how this is whole. This has worked. All good things have worked because of prayer, because of our belief in um, Heavenly Father bringing about truth and miracles and um, guiding guiding us to do good. So that being said, I will um, put his new video out um, after this, and uh, you can enjoy. Thank we'll you. We'll see you later, and Thank Merry you. Christmas. Merry Kay. Christmas. Bye. Good evening, my friends. I just wanted to do a little video and talk a little bit about what's going on. Um, obviously, there's an uproar about uh, the uh, whistleblower, uh, part of the BLM, that's uh, exposed a lot of truth, a lot of truth that uh, we've known about for a long time. We've seen in the discovery. We've been studying it for uh, over a year now and also we lived it and uh, so these things are something that are not a surprise to us by any means in any way uh, we told people that there were snipers on the hill that they were threatening our families that their crosshairs were on us we told them they had surveillance equipment high-tech surveillance equipment with lasers uh, pointed at our front door uh, we didn't know what it was about but we knew that that was happening and all of these things have been covered up by the government. We've actually um, several times, many times throughout this year, have requested information on it and they've denied it and said things like we're going on a, a, a fishing expedition, uh, trying to get information and, and say there were things that really wasn't. And then we find out, sure enough, that they were. The discovery clearly shows that the prosecutor, uh, 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 Stephen Myrie, uh, did everything he did he could to cover up that there were snipers. Um, uh, he even had uh, 
BLM agents come back in a year later and re-clarify their testimony to say that they didn't act as a spotter or they didn't act as a sniper. And uh, these are the things that were going on. We see them in the discovery, and it's, it, you know, it's primarily done by the U.S. Uh, Attorney's Office, and uh, I believe Steve Meyer was a huge uh, player in this. Um, we also see where they just lied over and over and over to the grand jury. Um, we've seen this for year, you know, for the uh, time we've been in prison for the last, almost two years, and it's been very frustrating uh, to us to see it because we know that it was a lie. We see that it was a lie. We see that they lied to the grand jury over and over and over again. That they created this narrative, and then they tried to sculpture the discovery to to follow the narrative, and uh, it was a lie. It was a lie from the beginning. And uh, so it feels really good to actually have somebody from their side, the inside, a whistleblower, to actually say these things. But they're not a surprise to us by any means. And so, um, and I could go into great detail, you know, uh, about how they were a militarized unit, how they were, they came, they, they followed a militarized uh, procedures, they said they were a militarized unit, they had drones in the, in the, up in the sky, high enough you couldn't even see them. They had crosshairs up on our family's home, and off to the side you see in the videos with the with the drone crosshairs and all the other uh, technology that's on this drone. And over on the side you see where it says arm or disarm, and that's what they had on our family's home. And they also had it on the protesters, and that's they had it on the protest site, and it had infrared technology, it had night vision technology, and then of course it, it, it was capable to uh, view uh, very closely from a long, long ways away. And that, that's just a very touch of what the technology and, and what they were doing to an American family on American soil. And, and that's why people came. They felt that this was wrong. And, and now it's good to see that now, you know, America is seeing that it was wrong. Um, again, I could go into great detail about uh, what's in the discovery, what's not in the discovery that we know that should be, what's been withheld, and who did it. And, uh, you know, they were, they, it was the Bureau of Land Management, the FBI as well. And just as a side note, when it's talked about Clive and Bundy and the other people's uh, uh, pictures on the wall, and then they got X's through them. The BLM took a picture of that and then posted it all over, laughing and, and enjoying that. But where were they at when they took a picture of it? They were in the FBI's office. So it was the FBI that had the pictures up there and had the X's in them. Completely inappropriate. And then the, then the BLM to be able to just post it around and do all those things like life is nothing. Like my father's life is nothing. Like Eric Parker's life is nothing. Well, I'm here to tell you that life is worth something. Dr. Red's life was worth something. And the way to just treat life like that, like it means nothing. It's just completely inappropriate. However, my, the main point of my video here is not because of that. My point is because I'm afraid that we're going to lose re a touch of what's really happening, what really has happened here. Because we have an unconstitutional land agency, a federal agency, and it's not just the land agencies, but I'm going to just stick to that, coming down inside the states and literally putting its people in fear and forcing the states into undue obedience. Forcing us, the people, into undue obedience. And when we allow that to happen, and we don't hold them accountable, and we have no way to hold them accountable, and why? Why don't we have a way to hold Dan Love accountable? Why don't we have a way to hold these people accountable? Because they're outside of the authority that they're acting. They're usurping it. There's no way to hold them accountable. You can't vote them in. You can't vote them out. You can't defund them. 
You can't do anything with them because they're not supposed to be here. These lands and all of these issues are supposed to be handled on a county and a state level. And for them to come in and insert themselves and use force and intimidation to tax us to death and sit, take it up to Washington, D.C., and then dangle it over our heads, saying that if you don't do this, we're not going to fund you. If you don't do that, we're not going to fund you. And if you do do this, we will fund you. Completely controlling the people and literally forcing us into undue obedience. What do you think is going to happen when we go away from the founding principles that, were, that built this nation? What do you think is going to happen? This is what happens. And until we get back to the principles that are outlined in the Constitution, until we stand on those principles, we cannot be free. And it will happen over and over again. And I guarantee it's happening in the Department of Justice, in the FBI, in the Department of Education, in the, every department of the federal, federal government, because there is no accountability. And we can't make them accountable. But on a county level, we can get them out. On a, on a state level, we can hold them accountable. And that's the issue here, and we cannot lose sight of that. It's not that we go to Washington, D.C. and, boy, we reprimand those, the BLM. Boy, we got to straighten them out to make sure they follow their procedures and, and regulations and their statutes right. No, it's that they should not be in our states, period. And as long as they are, we're in danger. As long as they are, we can't use our lands and resources. And it'll throw us completely into poverty. You cannot live without the land. You cannot survive without the water. And they have deliberately and intentionally and deceptively, over years, over decades, taken the land, taken the water and the resources and the minerals away from the people. Until we wonder why we're all struggling to make a living. We have to wake up. We have to get back to those principles that keep us free and keep us happy and keep us prosperous. We have to. I don't want to leave this country. I want to stay right here. I love this land. I love this people. I love freedom. But unless we insist and enforce the principles that are found in the Constitution and that the principles that were, we built this nation upon, unless we enforce those principles, we cannot be free. And my children will not be able to even enjoy what I've enjoyed. And that's not good enough for me. I do not want my sons to struggle to feed their families because some federal government is in business for themselves. I want my grandchildren to enjoy the freedom that my grandparents enjoyed. And they cannot do that if they can't go out on the land and produce. They cannot do that if everything they make goes to the federal government in taxes or any government. They should be able to keep the labors of their, the fruits of their labors and give it to their children and provide for their wives and build homes and not in debt. So keep it, keep the perspective correct. Of course the Bureau of Land Management did this. Of course they did. That's what happens when you don't hold people accountable, when you can't hold people accountable. That's what happens when they're unlimited. When they, when, when they believe they have full control and full power. That's what happens. So of course there's a kill list. Of course you got them, you know, plotting to destroy a family that stands up against them. Of course you do. And the only way to make it right is to hold them to the limitations that are found in the Constitution that we the people set upon them. And that goes across the board. What in the world are they doing in our states? Implementing health care. Implementing land control, implementing the environment regulations, education. What are they doing? The people need to do that themselves within their counties and within their cities and within their states. 
the federal government needs to go do their jobs that's outlined in the Constitution. It's very clear. And beyond that, they have no power. Beyond that, they have no power. And if we allow them to step across those bounds, which we have, they will abuse it. Thank you.